I've got to get close to her. Oh, you're about to. It seems that Maxine's job doesn't afford her opportunities to meet nice men, so she somewhat reluctantly signed up with a popular online dating site. I took the liberty of back engineering the matching algorithm to create the profile of her ideal man. She really likes that you love dogs. Wait, you're trying to get me a date with her? Already have. Tonight at eight. You've been flirting all day. Finch? What did I just say to her? Cufflinks I could understand, but buying a $100,000 sports car, was that really necessary? Relax, Finch. Car stolen. Nice car. Let's hope you're not compensating for something. Remember, your name is John Anderson, VP at Jensen Actuarial. You like walking your dog, kayaking, and Hitchcock movies. Oh, and Maxine's fondness for intellectuals presents us with a graceful way to help cover up your identity. Are you wearing those glasses? I got you. Here you are. Sure. Enjoy. I, uh, I called ahead and ordered us a bottle. Hope you like champagne. I don't. Don't you remember joking about this online? Sorry, um, can I get a Boulevardier, please? Did you not review the notes I sent you? <laughs> so, John, I've always wondered, what does an actuarial actually do? Most days, just try to stay awake. Mr. Reese, wrong answer. Maxine is passionate about her career, and she wants a partner who feels the same way. OK, time for reinforcements. John, how are you? <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> you trying to make me jealous? Bitch, have you on standby? Social psychology. Women are more attracted to men who receive the approval of other attractive women. Uh, Maxine, this is uh, Zoe. She's a friend. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, we spent two very long nights together last year. It was great seeing you again, John. Thanks. You dated Zoe Morgan. <clears throat> There's not a reporter in town who wouldn't kill to interview that woman. Science. The tenets of social psychology are firmly rooted in an understanding. So tell me about your job. What's the most exciting story you're working on right now? Oh, you'll, you'll just think I'm weird. OK, well, there's a rumor about this guy. The police just call him the man in a suit. No one's seen his face. No one knows his name. I'm not even sure he exists. But he's like something out of a comic book. When people are in trouble, he comes out of nowhere. He always seems to be there just in time. And whoever he is, he saves a lot of lives. And he shoots a lot of kneecaps. Sounds like a great guy and an urban legend. Yeah, well, maybe. But if he's real, I'm going to put that man on the cover of every magazine and newspaper in this country. Uh, what about Christopher Zambrano? I read your website. Ever worry that writing about a man like that might put you in harm's way? Occupational hazard. Still couldn't hurt to skip town for the weekend? Let this blow over. Well, thanks for your concern, John. And for that very slick offer to whisk me away. But, you know, this, this is what I do. I find out what people need to know, what those in power don't want them to know, and I make sure everyone hears about it. To me, that's worth a little risk. In times of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. George Orwell. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I have to take this. Sorry. Yeah. Glenn. Okay.